Good. Hi there, Dustin from Rocks for Cars. I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall the Thule 450 or 450R Crossroad feet. Uh, we get a lot of customers calling or coming into the store and they have troubles removing their 450 system from the vehicle. I'm just going to quickly walk you through how that works. So if you have locks installed into the cover of the 450, you want to remove those or unlock the locks. So place your kind of couple fingers underneath the cap and your thumb above the cap and just pull that towards you. When you pull the cap off, that becomes the tool used to remove the feet. When you loosen the bolt off, the common problem that occurs is the rubber strap that holds the rack to the vehicle gets stuck to the rail and the bolt will start coming out towards you. That's the opposite of what we want to happen. So what we'll do is just kind of wiggle and push the bolt back into the foot and then from the back side push on the rubber strap and we can see it then disconnects. At this point you'll be able to lift the roof rack off the vehicle and you've removed your roof rack. To reinstall the rack you'll place the feet onto your side rail. There is an arrow that you'll want to line up at approximately the center of your side rail. You'll wrap the rubber strap around and insert it into the foot. And then using the tool, you'll tighten that until it's secure. When the roof rack is secure, you won't be able to shift the roof rack at all along your side rail. Once that's done, the handle will slide back inside. It'll click in, and if you have locks, you could then lock it up. Uh, for more information about Thule roof rack systems, you can drop by any of our Edmonton store locations or visit us at racksforcars.com.